Woo! It is time. We have made it all the way here now to the IFL schedule release. We've made it, everybody. 12 teams could potentially be participating. Of course, COVID is still running rampant around the United States, so you never know what could happen. But we do know what we will start with on hopefully March the 28th. It will be the Sioux Falls Storm taking on the Green Bay Blizzard at 3.05. Of course, Central Time, because forget about these goes, baby. <laughs> but, um, yeah. 12 teams are participating in this season, and most of the teams are going to be playing only about six or seven opponents, you know, from, you know, in general. Um, Massachusetts is a new, Louisville, new team, you know. Of course, there's still others that haven't proved themselves yet, like my Frisco Fighters um, or Northern Arizona. You know, teams that haven't proved themselves to be, you know, you know, a, a valuable member to the league yet because of COVID. <laughs> but we got a schedule out, and it's going to be long. It's going to be long. I'll tell you that. There's a lot of Friday games, a couple of Sunday games up in there. Most of the games are going to start about 6 or 7 o'clock, you know, and... Um, there's some big teasers, of course. We, my Frisco Fighters, are taking on Spokane to start the season, so that'll be great. I um, wonder how Spokane's, you know, gonna come on back, you know, do things around here because the last time they were at the IFL, they were the Empire, and then they uh, shut down. But there's some big time matchups, you know. You know, United Bowl rematches, you know, like Sioux Falls, Iowa to start the season off. Also, you know, how will Louisville do, you know, against Great Bay? You know, there's all sorts of different storylines as we come closer and closer to March. And hopefully things get a little bit better by then, but I am seriously doubting that right now. Uh, I want to stay optimistic, but if things don't go the way, you know, things go, then we're going to have a long season. I'll just tell you that. There are some Sunday games in there, so you know, be sure to keep your eyes on that, and the schedule's all the way until July 24th, 17 weeks aside from the, you know, the um, the opening day game in, in March, last day of March, or on the last Saturday or Sunday in March. I didn't forget already. <laughs> But yeah, we got a long season, baby, ahead of us if things go well. And I don't know how the playoff is going to work. I don't know how the playoffs are going to work. I'm assuming we'll have to go back to 16. I don't think eight teams is going to be enough. Or rather, I don't think eight teams will be too many. I'm not sure how the playoffs are going to work, but we'll have to find that out later because. I mean, the schedule was released on the website, but it's not really, you know, not been a press release or anything like that, like the last couple of seasons have been. But yeah, there are a lot of games <sighs> over the course of 17, 18 weeks. So, we can do it. We got this. Um, I'm assuming the playoffs will run from July 31st to maybe around, you know, like the third week of August. Yeah, that, that that's about a, that's about a good estimation. So, July 31st to the like the third week of August. I don't know when that is exactly. I think it's like August 21st or something like that. It just, you know, but it's gonna be one hell of a season if we have one. And 12 teams are buying. Four championship, four United Bowl title, and it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun once again. So, 2021, hopefully we get something going for the IFL.